1026 now, the next Democrat debate. The field has been sliced in half for the September 12 event in Houston. So not on the debate stage effectively is not in the running, right? Are you hearing me, Bill de Blasio? Are you listening to me, Tom Steyer? Joining me now, the founder of the American Truth Project and Daily Ledger contributor, Barry Nussbaum. Barry, so, okay, who made the cut? Well, we know who made the cut. Uh, but if, if you look at some of those people, you kind of scratch your head, Booker, Klobuchar, Wang, Castro, Beto. If you add all of their funds together, it's about $10, 12000000 million. That's what Joe Biden has alone. And if you look at Francis, that's Beto, I like to call him Francis, he's only got 250000 cash on hand last reporting. That's not a very encouraging sign. Well, as the field narrows, Graham, uh, supporters who write checks don't want to get on the loser's check train. There's no payback. They want influence and they want to be able to say, I backed the winner and the winner is my kind of person. So the people like Beto and de Blasio and Marianne Williamson uh, are off the stage. They're basically gone. Yeah. The people that are left are so far left, they're dragging Joe Biden with them because he's the only one that even knows where the center is. Right. Well, you would you would think that. But obviously, with this new breed in the in the Democrat Party, uh, Joe Biden is going to have to adapt and he's going to have to become more radical in, in order to win the nomination. And as, as we hear, Barry, his message has been morphing. You know, he came out of the box with a more conservative message, certainly during that first debate. And he got shellacked. So now you, you hear him being even more and more radical. At some point, he's going to be out there calling for the abolition of ICE. I guarantee you. There's, there's two problems he has. Uh, and you pointed out the first one just now, Graham. He has to run left or they're going to cut him off at the knees because everybody else is left and way left of him. The problem he's going to have, number two, is every single public whack ball statement that he makes about socialism and everything's going to be free and white men suck and there ought to be reparations and on and on and on will come back and blow up in his face the day after he's the nominee. That's the problem. Normally, Republicans run right and then come back to the center. Democrats run left and come back to the center. The problem is he's going to be too far from the mainstream. And the majority of the voting public considers themselves moderate. They won't come back to him if he gets stuck with the label, I'm as progressive as Kamala Harris or I'm as wacky as Joe, uh, sorry, as um Elizabeth Warren. Those are things that are going to stick to him, Graham. Yeah, yeah. And with social media as it is, how's he going to get out of that trap that he's really jumping ahead first into? Speaking of extreme, uh, you have uh, uh, this follow up from the James Comey uh, Inspector General report. And I firmly believe that James Comey needs to be held accountable, not only for, for what he did himself, but the tone that he set while he was at the FBI. Clearly, he ran a rogue FBI to a certain degree, not all FBI agents by any degree, but a certain amount of them were operating rogue, just like him. He needs to be held accountable, and I think he will be down the road. I find something that came out of his tweets in the last couple of days astounding. The IG report, Graham, is out, as you've pointed out, and it is scathing in terms of the violations of both law and ethics and policy that were violated uh, at the Department of Justice by James Comey. He looks horrible in that report. And he has the gall to come out in public and say, well, I should be getting lots of apologies from everybody and I'm not gonna demand them, but I am really owed apologies. It's like the guy that commits two or three murders and is held not guilty in one of the murders and says, hey, I want an apology. I didn't kill the first one, yeah, no, well, he, maybe the second and the third, but I want an apology for the first yeah, one. Yeah, no, yeah, he's a sociopath. I mean, this is the way a sociopath uh, operates in, in this little <laughs> vacuum of, of his life. But I firmly believe, Barry, you know, this investigation that's going on by the Department of Justice, James Comey is pretty much at the eye of that storm, certainly at the center. He's, he's a key player in this investigation. And I do believe there's another gumshoe to drop here. Barry, thank you.